open the door. Invite him in. And your life will never be the same. If you're willing to receive the victory that God has given to us from the enemy and from all our enemies through Jesus Christ, you can just pray with me now and invite him in. Just say, Heavenly Father, I believe that you sent Jesus, your only begotten Son, to die for me, to die for my sins, and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And right now, I choose to believe and receive you, Jesus, into my life right now. Come and save me. I confess that I am a sinner without hope, but now I have hope because I have a deliverer, I have a Savior who will deliver me from all the works of the enemy. You bled for me. You died for me. Come in now and set me free. I give you my life. Come. Send also to me your precious Holy Spirit to lead me, to help me, to teach me, to help me grow. Bless my home. Bless my community and let your light shine within me. And thank you for delivering me from every evil work of the enemy, of Satan and those who follow his ways. I receive you now. Amen. Amen. Now, if you pray that, that's the way you opened yourself up to the Lord. You have a new life in Jesus Christ. You are a new creation. Yes, even now, it's instantaneous. You only have to get born once into the kingdom of heaven. You don't have to get reborn into it. Just like you're born once into this earth, you'll be born once into the kingdom of heaven. Now, what do you do after you get born? Well, that's about growing in your most holy faith. And at this point, find a good church in your area to join and to grow in your Christian faith. Put yourself under a shepherd, which is the pastor of that church, who Jesus has appointed to help and watch over and feed his flock. Join with other like-minded believers that you may grow. And may God bless you, your family, and your community, in all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus.